Hello, my name is Luke Wong, and I'm a high schooler working with the Department of Material Science and Engineering at Texas A&M University. This video is a tutorial on how to use our auto clay heat filtering program. Once you have the Python file and all of the required libraries and modules downloaded, you can run the program, and this will bring up a user interface. So here is the main menu, and there are two options, load file and filtering preview. First, click on load file and select the data set that you want to use. It should be a, in a block file format and have the .blo extension. So I'm just using a shape memory alloy data set. Uh, once you have the file loaded, you can click on filtering preview to bring up the preview window. It'll take a few seconds to generate a virtual bright field image. So here is the preview window. You have the virtual bright field image of your data set here on the left, and you can click anywhere uh, on it to show the diffraction pattern at that pixel. In the center, you have the unfiltered diffraction pattern, and on the right is the diffraction pattern filtered with auto clay heat. Uh, you can click around to see the filtering results on different parts of the data set. Once you're done previewing, you can click on the filter and export file button and it'll start filtering the entire data set. Uh, once it's done filtering, the enhanced data set will be saved to your computer as a new file. It'll have the same name as the original data set, but with auto clay heat appended at the end. Uh, for my computer, it only takes a few seconds, but it, the filtering time may depend on the specs of your own computer. So now it's saved and you can see here, this is my original file and this is the filtered file it has auto clay heat at the end. If you have any questions about this program, please reach out to Dr. Kelvin Xie and his group. Thank you for watching.